Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a VU meter using Arduino. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4007 diode and connect its anode to remaining pin of 2-pin terminal block and its cathode to V-in pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect CD4049IC and connect its pin number 8 to ground and connect its pin number 1 to pin D3 of Arduino, its pin number 2 to pin D4 of Arduino and its pin number 3 to pin D5 of Arduino and its pin number 15 and 16 to V in pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 4 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 5 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 7 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED the remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k trim port and connect its center pin to A0 pin of Arduino and its one side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin 
to remaining pin of 10k trim port. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to remaining pin of 2.2k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to ground and its other pin to positive pin of the capacitor. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.